How do you tell your kids you're separating? It's a really, really difficult conversation to have. Your dad and I love you very much. We've decided it's best for us to separate. So what's gonna happen now? Do I live with you or do I live with dad? It's mum and dad. They've broken up. I think dad's going to move out. No matter what we do, it's not gonna be easy for them. I caught up with Kylie yesterday. You really need to talk to somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. So will I have to go to court? This process is an alternative to going to court. I needed to talk to someone to try and work, work out... Work out? Work out what? So suddenly you think we need someone to tell us what to do with our kid? She went behind my back. It's weird with them not being in the same house. I hate that they've separated. Chris, you can't just spring this on me at the last minute. You haven't given me any notice. I, I don't want to just hang out with them at the weekends. I've stuffed up, haven't I? Yeah, you have. I'm not that bad, am I? Only you can answer that. Is this the first time something like this has happened? Ben's not one of those guys. Family and domestic violence is not just hitting, pushing and shoving. I don't want that for Reagan. What do you want to do? I don't know. We just can't go on like this. Separation is a difficult time for everyone, no matter where you live. You might think it's harder living in a regional area, and maybe for some people it is. However, there are services out there to assist you with how you're feeling emotionally, to help you sort out issues with your former partner, and others that can provide legal advice or information. The aim of a property settlement is to finalise the financial relationship between two people. Organise everything into a logical order. The more you do and the better you organise your information and documents for your lawyer, the less it will cost you in legal fees. A lot of people think they have to go to court when they separate. In reality, most people end up working things out without needing to ask the court for help. Let's take a look at four different ways you can go about making arrangements for children and property division after a separation.